Good morning. Today is Thursday, October 6, 2022, and it is day number 271 in my fasting journey. Yesterday, I weighed in at 126.6 pounds, and this morning, I am at 127.4 pounds. So, I gained eight tenths of a pound after having a refeed yesterday, but that's okay. The rolling 72s should take care of that gain within the next day or two. Right now, I am in round 70 of rolling 72s, and I'm about 15 hours in. So, as a reminder, what I had for my refeed yesterday was cedar plank salmon from California Pizza Kitchen, and the meal usually comes with corn, spinach, and feta cheese, and yesterday um, I um, had the meal without the corn or the feta cheese, and no corn because I'm trying to stay as low-carb as possible with my diet, and no feta cheese because I usually see um, huge gains on the scale after consuming cheese and just dairy in general. And so I'm trying to stay away from that while I'm on the weight loss portion of my journey. So yesterday I just kind of like had the salmon and I put two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil on it and um, I had the spinach. And so I enjoyed my meal yesterday. And so the calorie and carb information that I have for you is not entirely accurate because the information that is online um, is calorie and carb information for the meal in its entirety and it doesn't um, take into account that someone may not like eat, you know, um, everything that's included with the meal. And so um, the cedar plank salmon was 650 calories. Um, but like I said, it doesn't take into account the fact that I did not have corn or feta cheese. And um, I added, you know, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to the salmon. And so that was 240 calories. <laughs> um, in terms of net carbs, the total net carbs for the meal, it was 31. But like I said, it doesn't take into account the fact that I didn't have corn, which is probably the bulk of the carbs. And so that was my refeed yesterday. And I also took my standard supplements, which includes Optimal Carnivores, Grass-Fed, Beef Organ Complex, and Ancestral Supplements Bone Marrow. And so in today's video, I wanted to talk about how we all deserve to feel good, whether it's, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. And, um, you know, I have, I guess, have taken it for granted how good I have felt this year, you know, since starting my fasting journey. And um, it wasn't until, you know, last week when I got a cold, um, you know, when I caught one for my nephews. And then, you know, this week um, when I left the windows open and had a flare up of my allergies, it wasn't really until, you know, the past two weeks that I realized how good, you know, I really had it. I had been feeling, you know, pretty good on my fasting journey. Um, on occasion, I have, you know, bouts of low energy, but that's more related to the fact that my B levels sometimes are kind of low. And I know this because, you know, many, um, you know, years ago, I was eating, you know, a meat-free diet. And as a result, my energy levels were, were always kind of like dipping as a result of, you know, low like B vitamins. And so um, that's kind of like why I take the, you know, um, beef organ supplements that kind of like helps build my B vitamins up in all like other areas um, that I'm kind of like low in, um, in terms of nutrition. And so I've been, you know, basically feeling good for the most part, you know, while on my uh, fasting journey. And and if you are not feeling good, um, I want to suggest to you that the very first thing that you should look at is what are you consuming in your diet? Because there's a good chance that maybe, just maybe, the reason why you aren't feeling good, and like I said, it could be either physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually, there is, you know, a good chance that if you're not feeling good, maybe, just maybe, it's because of something that you have consumed. And I know this from experience because, you know, I've been dieting for many years, and um, whenever I remove certain things from my diet, I usually always tend to feel better. And so I always tend to feel better when I, you know, take caffeine out of my diet and when I you know remove sugar out of my diet and just junk in general and so um, you might want to definitely take a look at your diet to see if that um, could be the cause of why you are not feeling good and um, you know we all really do deserve to feel like our best um, in terms of you know our health and um, you know in terms of how we're feeling and so um, take a look there to see if that could be the cause and um, if it turns out that 
it is. If there's something that you're consuming it that, you know, doesn't make you feel good, um, I would seriously consider getting rid of that thing from your diet, you know, on a more permanent basis. And, um, you know, I have struggled over the years with my issues with, you know, caffeine and sugar. And this is the longest I've gone, you know, without those things in my diet. And I have felt just like so good this year, um, you know, in all like areas of my life without those things in my life. And I really want you to feel good too. And so definitely take a look at what you're consuming to see if that could be the cause. And it may not always be the issue. And, you know, taking those things out of your diet may not be the you know um, solution to like all the things that ail you but it is definitely you know a start um, and so I would just definitely take a look at that and you know also take a look at you know um, what's going on in your life I mean are you, you know, surrounding yourself with positive people, with positive, you know, things, with positive experiences? Um, if you are not, I would definitely suggest that um, you try to do that um, because it really does make all the difference in the world. And so, you know, I just want you to like feel good, like in all areas. And so look at what you are putting into your body and, you know, look at what, you know, you are kind of like putting into your mind with like entertainment and things like that, because that can make all the difference in the world for you. And so, um, you know, I'm not, you know, running around here, you know, happy all the time, but for the most part, I am pretty, you know, content, you know, on my fasting journey. And I know it's a result of getting a lot of the junk out of my diet and a lot of the junk out of my life. And also, you know, kind of like holding, you know, negative people that don't have my best interests at heart. It's kind of like holding them at bay, which has contributed to, you know, how I've been feeling this year. And so, um, Anyways, I just wanted to, you know, say that because, you know, um, you know, last week I wasn't feeling great because I caught a cold for my nephews and, you know, for the past two days I haven't been, you know, really feeling great because I ha have, am having a flare up of my allergies and it just, you know, really made me realize, you know, how thankful I am, you know, for what's happened to me this year because I have felt, you know, for the most part pretty good for, you know, most of this year and in previous years I, used to feel pretty miserable, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And, you know, the huge, you know, reason why I wasn't feeling amazing is because of what I was putting into my body. And so, um, you know, I just wanted to share that with you today. Definitely take a look at what's going on um, with your diet first um, to see if there's something that's causing you to not feel great. But anyways, so we all deserve to feel like wonderful and amazing and, you know, just really good in like all areas of our life. Remember that always. And if something doesn't make you feel good, um, see what, you know, is going on in your life. See what you can, you know, do to kind of like, you know, change things up for you a bit. But anyways, um, that's today's video. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing Thursday and I will check back in with you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.